Seems a downright shame. Shame? Seems an awful waste. Such a nice plump frame. What his name has, had, has, nor can't be traced. Business needs a lift, debts to be erased. Think of it as thrift, as a gift, if you get my drift. No? Seems an awful waste. I mean, with the price of meat, what it is, when you get it, if you get it. <coughs> Good, you got it. Take, for instance, Mrs. Mooney at her pie shop. Business never better, using only pussy cats and toast. Now a pussy's good for maybe six or seven at the most. And I'm sure they can't compare as far as taste. Mrs. Lovett, what a charming looks you wear. Well, and it does seem And yet appropriate as always. Mrs. Lovett, how are you? Out of all these years, I'll never know. Think about it. Lots of other turtle ladles who be coming for a shame. Won't they? They've got all their pies. What's the sound of the world out there? What, Mr. Todd? What, Mr. Todd? What is that sound? Those crunching noises pervading the air. Yes, Mr. Todd, yes, Mr. Todd, yes, all around. It's man devouring man, my dear. And who are we to deny it? These are desperate times, Mrs. Lovett, and desperate measures are called for. What is that? It's priest. Have a little priest. Is it really good? Sir, it's too good, at least. Then again, they don't commit sins of the flesh. So it's pretty fresh. Awful lot of fat. Only where it's at. Haven't you got a poet or something like that? No, you see, the trouble with poet is how do you know it's deceased? Try the priest. Mm, heavenly! Not as hardy as Bishop, perhaps, but not as bland as curate either. And good for business. Also, always leaves you wanting more. Trouble is, we only get it on Sundays. <laughs> Fiddle 
football player, it's Piccolo player. How can you tell? It's piping hot. Discriminate great from small, no way. 